everyone, it's Katie with One Music School and today we're going to learn Thinking Out Loud by Ed Sheeran. I'm going to be teaching you some easy options as well as what's going on in the actual track. So you can choose which option is best for you or you can flip flop between the two. All right, let's get into the tutorial. So first you're going to need a D chord. Fingers one, two, and three will be on the second fret of the G, C, and the E string. There's a D over F sharp, but you're only going to be plucking these two strings, the C and the E string, and we'll get to that when we get to the uh, simple counts. We have a G, finger number three will be on the third fret of the E string, then fingers one and two will be on the second fret of the C and the A string. Then we have an A chord, finger number two will be on the second fret of the G string, finger number one on the first fret of the C string. The last two chords we need are a B minor, so it is a bar chord. You're going to take finger number one and place it across the second fret. You're going to bar. What I'm going to do is I'm going to roll my finger onto its side the best that I can, and then I'm going to take finger number three and I'm going to place that on the fourth fret of the G string. Now if I'm playing live, something that might help you is because I have a split screen like this, if I'm playing live, I would bring it up a little bit and it's going to relieve a lot of that pressure right here and my wrist is more straight. Then we have an E minor. Looks like stairs, doot, doot, doot. So finger number one will be on the second fret of the A string. Finger number two, third fret of the E string. Finger number three is on the fourth fret of the C string. And now for the simple finger picking part. What I'm doing first is that I find my D chord and I am going to take fingers one and two on my right hand and I am going to pluck the G and the C string at the same time. Then I'm going to tap in between and then I'm going to play the E and the C string. Then I'm going to find my G chord and I'm going to pluck the C and the E string again and then tap again and then A, tap. There is a little riff in between, but you can totally skip that. So it'll sound like this again. So there's a little riff that you can totally add if you'd like to, but if you're not there yet, completely skip it. But here it is if you want it. I am going to pluck the open A string twice, and then I'm going to do a hammer-on with finger number two on my left hand on the second fret, like that. And so what happened is that my finger is going to hammer-on or hit that string, and the sound comes from the string hitting the fret. So if you're closer to the fret, it's going to be a better sound. And then you're going to do a pull-off. So that happens when this finger pulls down on the string and it's almost like it's plucking it. So I have plucking twice on the A string, hammer on, pull off, and then I'm going to play the second fret of the E string. So it'll sound like this. The whole thing together. Now for the pre-chorus, I have my E minor and I'm going to strum down and then tap in between. Strum, tap, strum, tap. A, strum, tap, strum, tap. Again, strum, tap, strum, tap. A, E minor, strum, tap, strum, tap, strum, B minor, tap, E minor, strum, tap, strum, tap, and then here I find an A and I strum down on eighth notes. One and two and three. And then I go right back into the verse chords and because those are the chorus chords. Now, I think the trickiest part if you're first starting out is going to be the we found love right where we are because it's right over the chords and there's quite a few chord changes. They're pretty quick for one count each. We found love right where we are. So if you want the counts, it'll be one, two, three, four, one and two, and, and 
four and. If you aren't familiar with counting, just look for the chord right above the word and you should be just fine. don't work like they used to before And I can't sweep you off your feet Will your mouth still remember the taste of my love? Will your eyes still smile from your cheeks? And darling, I will be loving you Till we're seventy Baby, my heart could still fall as hard as 23. I'm thinking about how people fall in love in mysterious ways. Maybe just the touch of a hand. Well, me, I fall in love with you every single day. And I just want to tell you I am. So, honey, now, take me into your loving arms. Kiss me under the light of a thousand stars. Place your hand on my beating heart I'm thinking out loud That maybe we found love Right where we are And when my hair's all but gone And my memory fades And my crowds don't remember my name Don't play the strings the same way I know you will still love me the same Cause honey, your soul could never grow Old, it's evergreen And baby, your smile's forever in my mind and memory I'm thinking about how people fall in love in mysterious ways. Maybe it's all part of a plan. Well, I'll just keep on making the same mistakes, hoping that you'll understand that, baby, now. Take me into your loving arms Kiss me under the light of a thousand stars Place your hand on my beating heart I'm thinking out loud That maybe we found love right where And 
that's it. That's everything that you need to know in order how to play a mixture of a fingerstyle version of Thinking Out Loud with some simple chords and strumming. Hope you like this one, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.